Are you wanting to know how to set up Google Analytics custom event tracking in WordPress? Event tracking can help you gather a lot of important data about your website and how your users are interacting with it. You can track clicks on important links and call to action buttons using custom events in Google Analytics. However, the custom event setup process can be a little tricky for beginners. Now that's where the Monster Insights custom event tracking feature can really come in handy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics custom event tracking in WordPress the easiest way. And that's by using Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And with just a couple of clicks, you can set up event tracking for all kinds of clicks and actions like file downloads, clicks on affiliate links, and tell and mail to links. Plus, you can easily track e-commerce purchases, media, forms, and a whole lot more. Now, today, I'm going to be focusing on how you can easily set up custom click events. Google Analytics events have different bits of information called parameters that you can use to track information about your important clicks. Monster Insights uses the parameters that were required in Universal Analytics and automatically converts them to be used in GA4. So, the Universal Analytics parameter event category becomes event name in GA4. The event action in Universal Analytics becomes link URL in GA4. And event label becomes link text. So you can set up event tracking for a button click in GA4. You just need to tell Analytics what the category should be. That way you can find it later in the Analytics reports when you're looking for the results. So you'll want to name it something meaningful like header CTA or sidebar CTA or a call to action button, for example. Now, since Google Analytics doesn't track these events on its own, you'll have to set up your events for each button or link on your site, besides the ones that Monster Insights takes care of for you. Monster Insights has a custom link attribution feature that allows you to easily add custom event tracking to your links and buttons. All you have to do is add a short snippet of HTML to your links to see how many clicks that they're getting. Don't worry, it's easy. I'm going to show you how. All right, to start, let's take a look at this HTML code. This is what you'll need to add to your links in WordPress in order to track them. Now, for this example, I'm going to use a Buy Now button in a widget placed on a sidebar, and I'll set up event tracking for it. All right, to do that, I'll just make a few changes to this code. I'll leave a link in the description to our written tutorial as well, and you can find the code there. All right, first, I'm going to replace this with the link. So I'm going to change it to something like this. Next, I'll change custom category to sidebar by now. Make sure you keep the quotation marks. Now our code looks like this. Now where you still see the words by now, normally that text would appear as a hyperlink on a page, but in this example, I'm not going to use a hyperlink to a text. I'm going to show you how to link this to a button. And since the button that I'm going to track is in the sidebar, I'll need to place the button image into a custom HTML widget. All right, so here's how you do that. First, head to your media library and grab the URL of your button image. Next, I'll link that image to a pricing page, so I'll just change the code to look like this. All right, then I'll paste it right into the custom HTML widget, save it, and check to make sure that it looks right and leads to the right page. Now, Monster Insights will help Google Analytics track your Buy Now button clicks and provide you with detailed reports. So to recap, First, you'll want to choose a category that'll be easy to recognize in the analytics report. In this example, I use sidebar by now. Then you'll need to add the destination URL. In this case, I use a pricing page. Next, you'll need to copy and paste the URL into the button image, and then copy and paste the full code into a custom URL widget. And finally, you'll want to check to make sure it all works. All right, now let's take a look at how to find the click tracking results in GA4. To see the results of the custom event click tracking, you'll need to create a custom exploration report in GA4. So first, log into your Google Analytics account. And then you'll need to head to the Exploration tab. If you never created one of these reports before, then check out our tutorial on how to create a basic custom exploration report. I'll leave a link in the description. So to begin, you'll need to go to Dimensions. Now you're going to drag and drop all of these into the Rows box. So drag and drop Event Name, Link Text, Link URL, and Page Location into the Rows box. 
All right, now go to Metrics and drag and drop Event Count into the Values box. Finally, if you want the report to show only the custom event that you're looking for, just drag Event Name from Dimensions over to the Filters box. Now to set up the filter, you'll just need to select Contains and then fill in all or part of the event name. Now for my example, I'll use By Now. Once that's done, just click Apply. Now you'll have a report showing how many times your button was clicked, the URL the button leads to, and the URL of the page where your button was clicked. And there you have it in just a few steps. Now you know how to set up Google Analytics custom event tracking in WordPress. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.